I am very excited about this talk. Um, as many of you know, society is facing what I consider in many ways to be our greatest challenge, which is the growth of the population of older adults. Um, most of us, when we enter our 70s and 80s, will have had a very productive life and hopefully are looking forward to a very productive retirement where we will spend time with our family, um, with our children, and hopefully continue working. Most of us, however, um, at some point in our lives, will enter a period where we will develop multiple chronic illnesses, frailty. Some of us, unfortunately, will develop cognitive impairment. And data from Alex Smith in San Francisco suggests that we will spend at least seven years in this state. And during those seven years, we also have data to suggest that we will have at least eight to nine distressing symptoms on a daily basis. Data from the United States suggests that the 5% of us with the most serious illness will cost our healthcare system, or will account for over 50% of our healthcare spending, and 10% will account for over two thirds of our healthcare spending. And we will be a population that is not actively dying we will have intense palliative care needs for months to years. Um, and it's a population, and it's an idea that we, in many ways, is new to us in palliative care. Um, that we have often, we have typically thought of palliative care as end of life care, and the reality is the vast majority of us will have palliative care needs for many, many years. Um, so that's why I'm particularly excited about this session and particularly excited to introduce Professor Lucas Radbrook. Um, I actually don't think Lucas needs an introduction to this group, um, but let me um, spend just a couple of minutes detailing a few of his many, many accomplishments. Um, he, Lucas currently holds the chair in palliative medicine at the University of Bonn, where he is also the director of palliative medicine at the University Hospital. Um, prior to moving to Bonn, um, he was responsible for establishing the palliative medicine department at Aachen University Hospital. Um, so not only is, a, is he a leader, he is a founder. Um, he is internationally renowned, as I said, I don't think I need to introduce them, him to this group, for his work in symptom control in persons living with serious illness. Um, and we are very, very fortunate that he is bringing his expertise to the WHO um, technical advisory group. Um, Lucas is going to speak on palliative care and chronic illness. Uh, Lucas.